Well, hello everyone. Yeah, here to show you the the kindergarten memories uh, coloring right here. You say is you know coloring activity, and of course right here I uh, you know Gores you got a a coloring right here of a uh, you say you got the you know the the work desk right here. You got the work desk, and then along right here is like in the corner. As I remember that that whenever I uh, you know, used to go to the you know the kindergarten. I think you know, see here from preschool to kindergarten is like yeah I went to like you know three or four different schools. It was. You know, one of them is you know, Henderson, and then the other one was Becky David, and then it was Fairmont, and then Cosley. But uh, other than that, that uh, that uh, you know, I don't know if really if they were separate school districts or whatever. But anyway, um, but uh, you have right here is for kindergarten memories, and which most of us will probably think about is like you could probably remember maybe if you were homeschooled or whatever. But uh, you know, you can maybe you know, remember at some point about it's like you know, the things that you remember whenever you were in schools you know such as uh, walking into the classroom and then of course uh, you walk into your desk it was and I remember a couple times that walking to my desk and and uh, it's like you know they uh, you know, have your name written on a on a desk or they could give you like what you call a cubby that uh, uh, you know with your name written on a cubby really anything with your name written on it the more likely they could probably say that uh, this is where you sit and then you know, of course this is yeah, you know, this is where your your stuff is, and and I remember going school supply shopping too, as well as buying getting stocked up on the pencils and and then of course with the with the markers and then uh, you know with the crayons and stuff and and uh, if I can remember the most important school supply that uh, that was on the list, of course, what I think was it was notepads that uh, of course uh, when you know with notepads that. Uh, that nowadays it's like you know if yeah, you go to school and then the more likely a notepad you know kind of like this like you know maybe a, uh, an e-reader you know Nook iPad or you know, something like that, that that they say that you know something that you used you know to keep notes with but uh, I'm talking about you know the year on this uh, coloring uh, would have been about you know see here early uh, you know 19 uh, see if I can write down here you know 1989 if I can remember right 1988, 1989, something like that is whenever I first, you know, started grade school. I was about five and a half, uh, six years old, and and uh, and I uh, went ahead and drew right here is a picture right here. You say a planet Earth, and uh, with most classrooms, I know with most classrooms, the schools I was going to, that most of them, quite a few of them, had uh, globes inside the classrooms. It was, and they would have a teacher that would. Um, allow the students to look at you know that we would especially it was if it was social studies class or if it could have been history class or say biology and that uh, we we would do like a variety of of uh see studies about uh and uh, i remember one of them i think was the american indians but uh, anyway that you would do uh, what you call like a project and then uh so a couple times it would be you know inquire globe it is but uh, i remember that uh that one of the things about the classroom, of course, is I remember walking in. You know, my parents would take me to the school and would uh, would uh, I would uh, you know, walk with my mom and you know walk with her and then uh, you know, to a classroom where a lot of times is that uh, that yeah that uh, that you walk into the classroom and you would see the desk and then of course uh, there would be like a little play area here in the corner where there would be like what you call uh, a place where they could. Uh, you did pretend like you were doing something in the kitchen and such and such and I remember that I that one of my parts of a, a you know the play you know section in the classroom if I remember right yeah was was the kitchen and I remember that the teacher would be asking me what I'm doing I kept opening up and closing the the oven door was you know pretend like if I were baking something she would ask what I was doing I'm like well I'm trying I'm finding I'm looking for a mouse and uh, <laughs> of course that um during that time, it's like, yeah, you know, every once in a while, even the schools would have problems, I guess, with mice it is. But uh, other than that, that uh, that you have uh, right here is uh, is the kitchen area. And uh, and uh, you, you would, uh, the, the teachers every once in a while, uh, you know, ask, it's like, you know, what are you doing? It's like, what are you making or something like that. But the whole purpose about it is like with kindergarten, whenever I was in kindergarten, is understanding about really about uh, knowing about the things I like to do and um, and I guess if really if there's really a big difference between what you like to do and what you have to do and then of course what you're good at it is that uh, of course I'm good at a lot of things uh, it's like maybe using say magnifying glass and 
you know, such, such and such. Yeah, you know, it's like the things I'm good at is you know being creative. It is, and uh, a lot of times you begin to wonder. I used to always think whenever I was in school that uh, that you know um, you know the, between the, the subjects that are required, that the, the ones that are required whenever you're in preschool and in kindergarten, and, you know the 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 subjects that are required for you to take um, whenever you're in school. And that was one thing that the, the teachers uh, never really explained to, I don't think, to any of the kids about, you know, about the, you know, the required, uh, I could say, I could, you could say, you know, the requirements. You know, I guess, you know, they call them, you know, is, is the state requirements. I know I talked about this before, but on the other hand, too, that knowing about it, it's like, you know, for the state requirements. And, and on the other hand, too, that as time goes on, maybe in 10 years from now, they'll have something different to where, you know, in the kindergarten that they're not going to have what you call maybe desk or whatever you call it. They're going to have it to where they have uh, what you call the, the slide riders or anything like, you know, any, you know, a desk, uh, you know, a desk that um, they could fold out into like what you call it, maybe a binder, you know, uh, fold out into like a binder and then you stand it up and then that's, that's the desk or you know, anything like that. <laughs> You know, I don't know. I, at the time, I keep thinking it's like you know, you know, keep it, keep getting too carried away over the fact about what's the next, uh, what's the next future so far as as school stuff goes. But uh, other than that, is talk about with kindergarten memories. Is talk about between the the requirements and then of course with the, what's recommended. See what's uh, recommended, and uh, of course that they. Uh, a lot of times, that whenever I, uh, you know, of course, with my computer, you know, I guess we got a computer, and a lot of times that, uh, with you know, this, uh, you know, phone connector jack right here, never been used, of course, but, uh, but it's like with the Ethernet line, that uh, this type of stuff right here, really, what does it have to do with kindergarten? And of course, you guys, like the amount of time that you had to explain whatever it is, and of course, with using a phone. And you got right here is the time watch. The time watch, that, of course, with the battery, you know, the battery that you know, had drained on it, you know, a while back. Before the battery drains on it, along with the calculator and knowing about how you work this stuff. So far as the answer to, um, to uh, you know, why I got into creativity, it is. Is knowing about and sharing, you know, with other, with other, you know, kids, it is. About knowing about, you know, really about what I can do. So far as if I wanted to... Uh, draw what you say in artistic uh, say cultures to say no one about is like for you know for the planet you know maybe ways the subject could be talking about it's like your know, ways to, uh, to help uh, save the planet you know may maybe no one about is like yeah that uh, if there is a, a, a continent you know maybe the future continent it is the future continent you know, is something you know that could be um, around maybe by you know the year uh, you know, 2042, something like that. That, that you know, that if, there were, if I could maybe make up a, a continent, as you say, you know, that, that continent, you know, could be, you know, maybe named after me. It's like start out with M or an A. It is, it's like that, the, the, the Motika, you know, Mo, the Motika, you know, that, I guess the, you know, Motika, I guess see, that sounds like maybe what you call, um, you know, a, a, a city in, in, in Rhode Island or whatever, but uh, you, know, you see Motika. That, that make up a you know a continent like that, and with that continent that you're know, knowing about if they what type of clothes that they wear, and of course knowing about you know, that typical stuff, <laughs> you know is knowing about is being creative. Knowing is like yeah that way you can learn about you know how to memorize you know if you take a test going to the school and knowing about yeah that they're going to be testing you on something, is knowing about really about testing you about how smart you are, is knowing about yeah that. Uh, that really, that uh, what I you know pretty much learned was the fact about knowing about you know with it you know with the stuff that I need to learn from it's like knowing about yeah that you know I remember this I studied this and then of course knowing about really what does it mean is knowing about you know the future of course is about us it's like you no know, talking about whatever I can do as you can see and I can remember but the other than that it's like talking about is like what do you say with other than with the calculator along with this with my work desk is no one is like no one is like you know I pray allegiance to the flag but other than that is like talking about with me is like so far with kindergarten memories